Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'd like to have a little chat about using hashtags in your Instagram bio. As you can see, my old Instagram bio used to contain hashtags, but I took them out because all they did was hinder my attempts at growth. Allow me to tell you why they're more of a hindrance than a help. Why are hashtags in your Instagram bio bad? I don't really like using the word bad when talking about things related to Instagram, but using hashtags in your Instagram bio really isn't a smart idea. To start with, hashtags in the bio won't help you in any way. When you add hashtags to a feed post, that post will appear in the results when someone searches for that hashtag. The hashtags you put in your bio will not work in the same way. They will not make your account appear in the hashtag results. They do not offer any value to your bio whatsoever. One of the main reasons to use hashtags at all is to make your content more findable. If they're not going to do that, there's not much point in using them. That brings me nicely to my second point. Hashtags are difficult to read. You're actually making life harder for your audience when you add hashtags to your bio. Although we're all used to using them online now, people tend to scan read over text, and unless you're using a capital for the first letter of every word, your bio will take longer to read when you include hashtags. As well as being difficult to read, hashtags make text look ugly, messy and cluttered, even when they're spread out with one hashtag per line. Hashtags are now also commonly associated with spam activity online, so lots of hashtags in your bio can look spam-like as well as messy. And now for my final point, and perhaps the one that is most important. Hashtags are clickable links that could take your audience away from your profile and content. Hashtags are blue and stand out from the black writing in the rest of your bio, which means that they catch the eye of people gazing over your profile. They're blue to announce they are clickable links. Someone can click on them and be taken elsewhere to all of the other content that has also been tagged with that hashtag. In one sense, the hashtag helps your audience because it enables them to find relatable content on the Instagram app. Those hashtags don't help you, as the account holder though. They encourage people to click away from your profile and content. Ideally, you want people to stick around on your profile and your content, liking, commenting, and offering other forms of engagement your way. The last thing you're going to want to do is make it easier for your audience to leave your content. In conclusion, although there are benefits to using hashtags in your Instagram strategy, adding them to your bio is pointless. They do more harm than good there, and the limited bio space could be much better used. A few Instagram bio tips you'll find a lot of conflicting information about the best Instagram bio, but there are a few points you should remember when working on yours. 1. Tell people what they're going to get if they hit the follow button. I'm not saying that my bio is the best bio, because it's a work in progress like the rest of my Instagram strategy, but I clearly state what people are going to see if they decide to follow me. Content creation hacks. Tutorials for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest and Twitter, marketing tips and tricks, and free resources and tools. 2. Use keywords for scan readers to easily pick up on. Most people online scan read, which means that they glance their eyes over the page and pick up on important words. The keywords in my bio, which I want people to pick up on, are content creation hacks, marketing tips, Twitter tutorials, etc. Keywords are what people would search for in Google or other search engines. 3. Use the space wisely. You can add line breaks, emojis, and other characters to help break up large chunks of text. People don't like to read large chunks of text online, so breaking things down into smaller, more manageable chunks is a good idea.
Would you like me to have a little look at your Instagram bio and come up with a few tweaks you could do to make it bolder, better, and more appealing to potential new followers? Slide into my DMs on Instagram and let me know. All I ask in return is that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful today, but please let me know if you have any questions or would like to suggest another video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more social media marketing and content creation tips and tricks. Have a fabulous day.